Hey guys, so today I'm gonna teach you how to clean a lionfish. Okay, so you know I have to tell you a little bit about lionfish first, right? Like, where they come from? I thought they were poisonous. Girl, you sure we could eat her? But before I explain that and why they taste so good, let's just take a moment and appreciate the absolute beauty that is this magnificent creature. No species has come close to captivating my attention underwater and each aesthetic feature actually plays a role in its function of why it's at the top of the food chain. So let's get into it. Lionfish are an invasive fish species that negatively impact our marine ecosystem. They're native to the Indo-Pacific Ocean and they're now invasive species in the Atlantic Ocean. There are a million different theories of how they got here, but it doesn't matter because they are here and they have no natural predators and they eat everything, including our most important species. Their spines are venomous, which would deter any predator from eating them. And the kind of sails that you're seeing on the spines act to trap all different fish species when they're in their smaller stages. They also spawn throughout the year, so they're multiplying constantly, creating 2 million eggs per year. That's why we need to curb them as efficiently as possible and it just so happens that they taste amazing. Thank God they realize that. But it's really no surprise because it's a carnivorous fish. Trinis have the privilege of enjoying carnivorous fish and pelagics carry kingfish snapper because of our nutrified waters. Up the islanders usually eat more reef fish which consume algae and you can taste the difference. Okay, so now you understand why we need to get rid of these fish, the fact that we found the absolute best way to utilize their meat and now I'm gonna show you how you could play your part. So for this video, we'll do the bigger lionfish. You're gonna pull out the squid too? Right. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove these spines. But I really want you all to see how beautiful the lionfish is. Truly a beautiful fish. And this is how they look in the water. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the spines just for safety. Now the fish itself isn't poisonous, which they thought originally is just the spines, right? So that's why you want to get rid of them. So you can either use a scissors to cut them out easily. But I don't have a scissors today, so I'm gonna use my knife and break these spines. Right. Now, you realize I'm not just throwing them on the sand or the sea, because I also wanna ensure that nobody steps on them at any point. So I will get rid of it the way that I know how. So you see how beautiful the tail is? That's what they make jewelry out of. Truly gorgeous. Right, so today we're doing a fillet. I'm gonna really use the head so I could just... Ooh. So I've heard of some people doing lionfish broth with the head. Um, I've yet to try it mostly because I prefer the fillets, but I'm sure I'll get there. So I'm gonna scrape it. Now they're very easy to scrape, as you can see. Fine scales. And you'll see how nice the fillet comes out. Right, so we're gonna make sure these nice fine scales come out. So we still don't wanna be eating these lines for scales. Do a quick dip in the ocean. Woo! That's a good thing I just find into it. So now we're just gonna do a quick fillet and you'll see how beautiful the fillet is gonna come out. It's a nice soft fish. I find it's like a mix between barracuda and snapper. He just 
beat. Oh, we touch on the right here. I'm feeling them beat. Yeah, look at them. Yeah, yeah, look. So look at Perito. Trembling. So that's how fresh she is right now. Easy feeling. Cut it, mommy, cut it. I'm cutting it, baby, and I still feel them beat. Oh, beat. Right. Oh, real nice feeling here. We'll just give him a rinse when you're going to cook him. Ba bam. Right. Oops, sorry. Next side. Make line for ceviche with this one. Mm. Wow, it's fresh for you, bud. Feels good. All right. So I am in no way advising or recommending or suggesting that anybody ever do their lionfish like this. But I would let you guys know. You know we are custom handling it. So if we ever want a quick fillet, which we do right now, because I'm actually late to go back to the second half of a course, we could just show you how easily they could be filleted. So as I mentioned before, they have nice fine scales. You just be sure to handle it with care. And you could start your fillet here. Have a spine here. Take that out. Right. So put that in zoom. So as um, you guys know, the lionfish are invasive species, which means that catching them by any size or any way is actually a really selective way, a sustainable way of hunting. They only caught by a scuba or free dive spear fishing or pole spear, and you'll see that we put them in the zookeeper. And at any size, even this small, okay, we'll still to remove them. Because they really should not be getting to this size. So if we remove them from this size, then it will have curvy stocks and that's really what we want. Because these guys have no natural predators. Be real careful. Oh! Look at these little guys. Fry dry line. So they really should not be getting to these sizes. Look at this one. They shouldn't be getting this big guys. Get the hunt. 